Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a get ready with me drugstore products only look. It is a very simple basic makeup look. So if you're going to the grocery store, if you're going to school, if you're going to work, if you're at home sick and you want to just do your makeup real quick so you can feel more alive, then go ahead and keep on watching so you can know how to achieve this look right here. And do please like and subscribe because I will be making more videos such as makeup, makeup videos, pranks on my boyfriend and family, vlogs with my um, one year old, mommy, like mommy routines that I have, even sometimes me cooking, just, just the whole, you know, I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> like just videos to entertain you guys and especially the ones with my son, those are going to be the, like, those are going to be so much fun and the best videos to watch because he is such a character, like, oh, let me tell you, he is ready to be on camera. But yeah, go ahead, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, do do whatever, you know, comment on the video, let me know what other videos you guys want to see and help your girl out, you know, why not? So go ahead and keep on watching to get this look right here. Thank you. Okay, so the first step that I will be doing is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. And this is just because I have really bad pores right here around my nose. So I like to use primers that are going to minimize my pores. And it's always good to really prime your face because you don't, if you're like me and you have big pores, and you don't really want your foundation to like, dig into there and stay in there because that's how your pores get dirty and create breakouts and just, you know, it's a hot mess. So always prime your face. And I always use this. Elf, 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 always. I just do a little dots around my face and then I go in. Make sure your hands are clean. I go in. Just rub it in and then it's always good to like pat it down um, and then a little bit more down here a little more down here and then I always just pat it down to make sure that it really gets in there and you can't really see but now my pores my pores are fully minimized. I've been lacking on my skincare routine, so I have a little breakouts here and there. I don't get big pimples. I get like little white heads everywhere, like right here and on my forehead, on my nose. But it'll get back on track. I'm sorry if the quality is not the best. I'm using the phone right now. I'm working on getting a camera, hopefully soon. So after that, moisturize your lips because we're going to put lipstick or lip gloss, especially matte glosses, like ones that dry to matte. You want your lips to be moisturized because if you don't, they're going to like crackle. And that's just not cute. And I just used the Simple Eels ones, got this from Walmart. I also got my face primer from Walmart. There is an e.l.f. store at the, what mall is it? The Fox Hills Mall in LA. I really want to go into the e.l.f. store there and just go ham because your girl loves some e.l.f. Yeah, that's pretty good. And now, I don't have any, And now I'm going to go in with this matte poreless foundation. It's the Fit Me from Maybelline. My face is really light, but my body is like a darker tone than my face is. So I always go to match my neck and my body. So you might see my face looking light, but my face foundation is a little bit darker than what my face really is. Just to match the rest of my body. And I forgot my beauty blender, so one second. Okay, so I got my damp beauty blender and I got my foundation and this isn't 
full coverage. I can't find where it says on the bottle, but I know it's not full coverage because it doesn't cover all of my blemishes right away. I have to go in with the second, like, I do it twice. But the second time, I don't do as much. I just add wherever I need some more coverage, which would be here, right here today, and here again, and sometimes on my forehead. But I don't do the whole face all over again, twice, just once. And I go in. And I just like to do little dots all over my face. Sorry if I'm looking up, my mirror's there. make sure that your hands are clean because you don't want to go in onto your face with dirty hands or dirty fingers if you're using your fingers um i am looking into finding a new foundation that's more for coverage and has a spatula because i don't like to buy those little tools to put your your foundation on and i don't like to go on the back of my hand because i feel like it's just more waste you go on the back of your hand and then you have to clean it up with the beauty like with the beauty blender or with your makeup wipe, whatever it is that you clean it up with. But with my finger, I just put it on the beauty blender because I'm gonna blend my foundation out with this anyway. And it's gone, my finger's, my finger's good. So now I just, I just go to work on the ends and just go over this and go to work. And this foundation is a matte one again. And that's because my face gets super oily. It gets oily like on my T-zone. And I hate that. So I always try to go for matte stuff. Like, I don't like my face super oily. And I, I get some pores are good, but the way it gets is just a no-go for me. And now I'm just going to go in and pound my face. And right now, it doesn't like, it looks really good. You can't really see my blemishes. So I'm probably not going to go in twice. Maybe just wherever the little, my little um, white heads are peeking out. And I like to go in with, with my foundation rather than color correcting things like under my foundation or anything like that just because I don't like so much product on my face because I feel like there is already enough product with the foundation and the bronzer blush whatever it is I'm gonna use that day I feel like that's enough and I'm not big on like having so much on my skin because mm, my skin is very delicate and I break out very easily so i rather just do it with the same product rather than go in with many different ones. Especially because it's hard to try them because I don't know how my skin is going to react to it. And i just rather not, not risk it. I don't like breaking out. I hardly ever break out and when I do, it's bad. So i rather prevent that. But maybe I'll try something soon. Right now, i just rather stick to my skincare routine. And if you guys do want a skincare routine video, go ahead and just let me know. And I'll I'll make one. After that, I just let that sit in for a little bit. And I'm not going to do eyeshadow today because it's just a get ready with me. Like, simple. I'm not going anywhere special. I'm just getting ready for the video. It's not like I'm going anywhere today. Today's really just a cleaning day, so I'd rather just do a simple makeup. And I do have this contouring palette. It's from Wet n Wild. It's a 
Meg Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dupe to the Leche. I only got this because I see Kyra Stewart using it. And if you don't know who that is, you might want to look her up on YouTube. She has great videos. And it works very well. The only thing that doesn't work for me specifically is the banana shade. The, the like highlighting shade or to set your face shade that might, some people might use that for. It just, it gives me lots of flashback and I hate flashback because even if I'm not going anywhere, I'm, I'm pretty conceited. So I always take selfies no matter what, for, for no reason. And it gives me lots of flashback. I tried it once and I was going to work that day actually. And I work at, um, at a retail store, like a clothing retail store at the outlet. So the lighting in there is very strong. So I was like, I can't like. This is not going to work at work. I have flashback. Like, bright lighting is going to just ruin this. So I just took off my makeup and I just did a mascara that day. So I don't use this shade. That's why you don't see it. Like, I use it barely. Just a very slight. Like, I don't use it to actually bathe or highlight. And now I'm just going to go in with this e.l.f. brush. And I'm not gonna contour like very dying, like into death. Since it's just the everyday makeup look, I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up the face a little bit. And always, this works for me. So don't, if anything that I say, you don't have to do. It just works for me. I always suck my lips in, make like a little fishy face. And on the, I have chubby cheeks, so that's why this works for me. On the depths, like where my cheekbone is, I go right under that, and that's where I start to bronze. Oh my god, I need a shade for this. Not that I get like dark hairs, I just, I don't like the peach fuzz all over my face. I hate it. And I just, I move my hairs, drag it up a little bit up here. You can't see it very well. The lighting is horrible, but I will show you guys at the end how the makeup look came out. And I'll probably take like a picture and have that be the thumbnail so you guys can really see exactly how it came out. So we're gonna. And I drag it upward and upward because you don't want it dragged down. You don't want your face to look like sagging down. And that's what that'll, ha that'll happen to you if you do your brows or your contour too low. It'll look like your face is just sagging down. It will not look good at all. So again, I go in twice. Because this shade is a little light, but I really like it because the, the other ones are too dark. It's just hard for me because, like, I'm not light-skinned and I'm not dark-skinned either. And I'm not like that, like that yellow color. So it's very hard to just, oops. It's very hard for me to find colors that I really like on my face. And I always do drugstore products. I never, sometimes I go into Sephora or Ulta and get a few things from there. But I prefer a drugstore because I feel like if I can get this for, I believe this was $3, why would I go in and get like the Hula bronzer for however much it costs? I just... I'd rather get stuff that is affordable and doesn't break my bank and it's gonna perform the same on my face so that is that and then I do go in with a lighter shade just a tiny bit remember I said and I just barely and this or this brush is from I'm not sure my boyfriend got me this for Christmas I don't remember what the exact brand was, 
but I know it came in like a little set and I have a bunch of these brushes, but it was super cute. Look at the packaging. And I just barely go in, like tap it off so that it's even less. And I just try to cut my cheeks a little. So that way the bronze or the contour, whatever you did, it looks a little cleaner. If you guys know of any like baking shades or highlighting shades that don't give lots of flashback, please let me know because your girl needs it. I haven't found any that I like. Sometimes they're too heavy. The powder is just too white for my liking. They give lots of flashback. And I just don't like that. So I barely went in with that. And I'm done. And then, I do go in with blush. This this is like a palette. This used to have a bronzing brush. I went ham on it, obviously. And then this is a highlighting brush. I mean blush. No, this is a highlighting color. This is a blush color. It is from Ulta. It's the Ulta Radiant Palette. I got this in a little makeup set for Christmas, maybe like two years ago. Or was it last year? I don't know. But I got it for Christmas. And I've been using it since. And I barely go in with the blush. Because I don't like. I don't like too much. And I just do a smiling face. That way I just get the apples of my cheeks. And drag it up a little. So I barely, barely, barely do anything. Just because, like I said, I don't like so much product on my face. So the next step is... I'm going to do mascara. I have lots of mascaras. And there are drugstore, like I said. But first, I am gonna go in with this CoverGirl Plump Crusher because it's water resistant and I love the way it makes my eyelashes look. My eyelashes are already long, but they're not as thick as I wish they were. So that's why I do mascara and I don't get like ones that'll make my lashes even longer because they're long as it is and if I do that they'll just ruin the whole makeup look that. and then from the bottom one this is I don't know where this is from. It's either Maybelline or CoverGirl. The packaging rubbed off. And I go in with this one. It's a smaller brush for my bottom lashes because my bottom lashes are long as well. it for mascara I am gonna add just a little touch of pop of eyeshadow in the inner corner just so that I look more awakening actually I'll go in with the gold kind of one the gold shimmer one 
on the inner corner of my eye. I just grab a small flat brush like this. Again, I don't know where this brush is from. I got it for Christmas. And I just like to spray it with my Matte Magic Mist and Set. This is from e.l.f. as well. Just spray that a little bit. Pick up the eyeshadow. And then I go in on my inner corner. Now, I'm not going to do eyeliner either today, but what I am going to do is go in with this pretty lip color. It's a matte mega color stick. This is from Love and Beauty by Forever 21. And mm, there's no shade on here, but it's this cute little lip, lippy pencil. that some color and next what I do I do highlight either but I am going to set my face now with the elf matte magic mist and set it's just a little setting spray now you would say this does good throughout the day but it does start to wear off after so I do need to get like um some some type of powder to just carry in my backpack and to be able to go in on my face so that my skin does not look so oily because after a while I do notice when I get home like oh my face is a little oily that's gross I don't like it just gonna let that set in and I always go, after I do that, I go in with the beauty blender. And that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, if you want me to do a skincare routine, or if you want me to go into more depth on how I really do my makeup when I'm going out, go ahead and let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.